We've already seen many incredible performances in this year's indoor NCAA track and field championships. We saw Brandon Miller absolutely dominate in the 800. We saw Mario Garcia Romo close with amazing strength in the indoor mile. And in the women's 5,000, we saw Courtney Wayman take the victory over Caitlin Tuohy, winning this championship final in 15 minutes and 30 seconds. These victories have already made this competition very memorable. However, there was one performance from these finals that was so dominant that he just might be unbeatable in 2022. In the men's 400 meter dash, Randolph Ross from North Carolina A&T towed the line as the heavy favorite for this final. Last year in 2021, Ross won the outdoor title in the 400 with a blistering time of 43.85 seconds, a time that was tied as the world's fastest in 2021. Heading into this season, Ross has only continued his superior running, currently holding an undefeated record in the 400, and he's once again ranked as the world's fastest in this event, holding a season's best of 44.83 seconds. This time is currently ranked as the seventh fastest time in indoor history, and while this is certainly an amazing 400 meter time, it doesn't even come close to what he just did in this final. Through the opening 200 meters, Ross asserted himself as practically untouchable. For this opening lap, he split a time of 21.09 seconds, a super fast split for this opening 200, and from this point forward, there was simply nobody that could catch him. When everyone else in the field began to fade over this final 200, Ross held his form and slowly pulled away from everyone else. Even over this final 100, when it's almost a guarantee that an athlete will tie up, Ross looked incredible, and he was rewarded with one of the fastest times in history. With a finishing time of 44.62 seconds, Ross won this NCAA title by more than a second, and now on the list of the fastest indoor athletes to ever run, he's now ranked number three all time, only falling behind Michael Norman's performance from 2018 and Karan Clement's time back from 2005. With a barrel roll finish and a surprisingly frustrated reaction to this number three all time performance, it was clear that he was going for the world record here. Right now, Ross is in quite the rare territory for a 400 athlete, and this NCAA victory just might be the most dominant win that we will see in these championships. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.